Hello and welcome to Afis Concept TV where we give you the latest news, gist and gossips. To all our listeners and subscribers, we say thank you for always tuning in to listen to us. And if you are just joining us, we say welcome to Afis Concept TV. Kindly click on the subscribe button to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And do not forget to turn on your notification post to be the first person to get notification when we upload them. And now to the news of today, the headline. The Yoruba Council of Elders urges Sunday behold to hold off eviction of Fulani elders. And now to the main news. The Yoruba Council of Elders, YCE, has called on Sunday at DMO popularly known as Sunday Igbo, to await the results of the newly established Ministry of Livestock before proceeding with its planned eviction of Fulani headers from the Yoruba region, according to Vanguard. The plea made yesterday aims to maintain peace and give the new ministry a chance to address the ongoing header farmer conflict. Sunday Igbo, a prominent Yoruba nation agitator, has been vocal about his dissatisfaction with the presence of Fulani headers in the southwest, blaming them for escalating insecurity and violence. His previous eviction notices have led to heightened tension and clashes, prompting widespread concern. The YCE in their statement emphasized the importance of patience and diplomacy in resolving these deep-seated issues. We understand the frustrations and the security challenges our people face. A spokesperson for the YCE said, However, we urge Sunday Bo and all stakeholders to give the Ministry of Livestock an opportunity to implement measures that could bring lasting peace. The Ministry of Livestock, recently created by the federal government, is taxed with finding sustainable solutions to the herders' farmer crisis promoting modern livestock practices and ensuring harmonious coexistence between different communities. The YC believes that this initiative could be a significant step towards addressing the root causes of the conflict. The Council's plea underscores the complexity of the situation, balancing the need for security with the potential benefits of governmental intervention. The YC is call for restraint is aimed at preventing further violence and fostering an environment where constructive dialogue can occur. Sunday Boho has yet to respond to the YCE's request, but the appeal from such a respected body may influence his decision. As tensions remain high, the coming days will be critical in determining whether the region moves toward reconciliation or further discord. The Yoruba Council of Elders hopes that all parties involved will consider the broader implication of their action and work towards a peaceful resolution, allowing their newly established Ministry of Livestock the chance to prove its effectiveness. Well, I don't know how possible that would be for, for people to hold on first to see how how thing is going to go between headers and, and and headers. That means if you are patient enough for the Ministry of Livestock to be implemented, and at the end of the day, it doesn't work out, and those felonies are already in different regions of the states, what do you think is going to happen? Serious work. So I don't know. I don't know if this Ministry of Livestock thing is going to work. Because me, to me, those Fulanis are, they are, they are a different type of species. Like, they don't understand anything. They are so violent, always ready to kill. If there's any inconvenience, they want things done their own way. So I don't know how this life of it, how they want to implement it. I, I really want to see how they want to implement it, how it will go, that it won't cause issues between different communities. I really hope it doesn't cause any issue. My listeners, what do you think? Can you leave your thoughts in the comment section? And do not forget to like, to share, and to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for listening. See you some other time. Bye.